And Brian, dropping temperatures and winds making it feel even colder. It's pretty brutal for people braving the elements waiting for the bus. Unlike many cities, bus stops throughout Saginaw typically don't have shelters for riders to escape the cold. TV5's Jamie Sherratt showing us tonight one young boy is trying to change that. Imagine waiting for the next bus in the cold and even snow. Well, that's the reality for many in the area, and a local boy is hoping to fix it. Hi, we're at the only bus stop. A call to action from eight-year-old Jaden Brummett. After noticing many people standing outside at bus stops in the Saginaw area with no shelter. I don't like it mainly because they're carrying heavy groceries. When they're out there, when it's raining or snowing, and if it's around winter, it's getting even colder. Jaden says his feelings are a mix of sadness and anger when he sees this. Because it's, all, it's unfair. We just want them to be, even if they're not warm, just be protected from the snow and the rain. Protect it, like the people he's seen in other areas waiting at bus stops. Well, when we go to Flint or Midland, they have like a box, basically, a bench, and then an awning. As a temporary fix, Jaden and his mom are passing out bags filled with hats, gloves, and more to help people standing in the cold. They're in our community. I feel like we owe it to them. We're passing out the hats and gloves, but that's not, yes, a scarf and hat will do lots, but that's still just not enough. They're hoping to make bus stop shelters a reality for those left in the cold. They are a community. We're supposed to help them as much as we can. Reporting in Saginaw County, Jamie Sherrod, WNEM TV5. <laughs> my oh my. For more on how you can help the Brummett family and their mission, you'll find more information on the story at WNEM.com.